the name of the act. Child Rights Act, which protects them from um, certain cruel traditional practices, harmful practices. That one presupposes that there is a law. What we need to do, which is difficult for even the woman who is saying that, because you have to ascertain, I cannot go into a bundle bush. Somebody has to say this is happening, and then the action comes into being. But let's not forget that um, we have made the effort to protect women. And she has just put a whole list of things there, which no government did before me, to protect women, to empower women. The rape issue, hands of our girls, which she forgot to mention. A lot of that. But will you or will you not ban FGM outright? I'm coming to FGM. <laughs> FGM is a deep cultural practice in this country. Um, a lot of people are campaigning for its uh, abolition. None, they've not been successful. We have to, as a society, decide on how it is going to go. And the law there is the beginning. Until you are 18, you are not supposed to be subjected to, to uh, 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 these queer or whatever traditional practices. After 18, you make a decision. That is a good beginning. If you go like that for the next 10, 20 years, this is a practice I believe we die out for itself. But I don't think you want me to commit political suicide. <laughs> but there is already a Sorry, major... Running, sir? You mean you're not going to commit yourself to banning it? We have a system that is taking care of that very slowly. Very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me put this